What's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Latoya, call me your divine tarot priestess back in the building again. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Thank you to all my subscribers and my supporters. You guys are greatly appreciated, you guys. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content, you guys. Don't forget to share the video. I appreciate you. Y'all like, like, like. Yes, that's an energetic way of loving on me. And I love you too. Gratitude, y'all. Um, if you need a personal reading, you guys, my story's down there in the description box. I am LatoyaColeman.com. You guys, you can go book your reading there. If you want a um, donations corner, you guys, you send a donation to my cash up, and I'm going to have to add my PayPal down there as well. I think I do got it down there, but, you know, it's, it's somewhere. Well, yeah, but you can um, send a donation with a question or questions, depending on the donation amount, you guys, and I'll send your video link you know, telling you what you need to know about whatever situation that you're going through. You guys will not, we will not be on um, a Zoom call when you do donations for and I want you to know. All right. Ooh, deception. Hmm. And separation, y'all. Little past life relationship and unrequited love, y'all. Um, I, I ain't going to even tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all later on down this reading. All right. So, okay. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And then we got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, you guys. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I require a little past life relationship. You have known each other before. Y'all, let me get another message. Y'all, I'm sorry. I just had to jump on in. Mm, I kind of had a feeling it was going to go this way. You know what I'm saying? Because I really did. Somebody's been very deceptive. Very deceptive. But... Uh, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna talk about it because I feel like it goes along with this whole reading. So I'm, <laughs> it's gonna be story time. All right, spirit, <laughs> give me two cards. Clarify the deception I meant to say. My bad, spirit. Yeah, I'll tell you what resonate and always leave the rest. Remember that. If it don't fit, you guys don't wear. <laughs> always on my mind clarify <laughs> ah, i know you did spirit clarify separation <laughs> ah, spirit, know you did. who ran it so oh gratitude spirit know you did unrequited love mm -mm -mm. fantasy not enough um attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going but then it's fantasy oh it's over past life relationship spirit one call it mm-mm 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 mm -mm connection gratitude spirit and at the bottom we got worry y'all so i know this i'm finna tell y'all about my my little dream i had y'all oh gratitude yeah so last night i was, it was this morning i had a dream but y'all know i'm in the twin flame connection y'all know that because i talk about them so much but i realize you know a lot of people that go through a lot of the energies that i go through you know what i'm saying that's you know it's just it can be just a, a collective energy type of thing especially when you're dealing with somebody that you know i feel like that's your twin i don't know but spirit got a way of showing things but hey it is what it is so i had a dream about my twin it was so vivid yeah i ain't dreamed about him in a minute y'all he he ain't been popping up, but this time he want to pop up and be an asshole. He ain't never been no asshole in my dream. He always tried to come through and stop me from um, connecting with other people. Normally, that's what he would you do, but this time, he called me. You know what I'm saying? In my dream, he, he FaceTimed me. He And this is what he said. He said, you know that energy that you've been sending me? I'm going to need for you to stop. He said... Um, he said something else, y'all, as he said that. And they saying, I know, he showed his little girlfriend. You know, she popped up in the camera. Sent at the table, they were sitting at some table in the kitchen, y'all, looking all cute. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. But, y'all, she was. So, you know, 
he just sitting on there looking all dumb and stuff. You know, I'm talking about he really was. He was looking like he was like his eyes was bulging. <laughs> he looked he, he he looked like he was geeked up or something. I don't know what that was. What was going on? Maybe it was something going on behind the scenes. I don't know. And I really don't know why he decided to call me. I really don't know why he came in my dream to be honest with you. But I feel like Spirit was trying to show me something. And the reason I feel like Spirit was trying to show me because I felt like a couple of days ago I felt like uh, I heard spiritually that they had and got engaged y'all they hadn't got engaged y'all so when he called me he was showing me he had showed me whole oh, whatever and then he showed me the ring he bought her and i was like okay what's the point of this call congratulations babe mm-hmm. yeah so she gonna say something and then he gonna lay his little head on her city i was like oh okay could i lay my head on the other side <laughs> Because I don't know what they want. They, they expect it from me out of that call. I really don't. Um, I don't know if I supposed to got mad or something. I, I wouldn't see why I got mad. Because I really, I could have spilled whatever beans that I wanted to. But I chose not to. I chose them to let them live in their little fantasy or whatever. Whatever. I'm not there to ruin anything. And that's the reason why I love when I really find out about her. I ain't trying to ruin y'all relationship. I'm not. I wasn't. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. Y'all can have that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got nothing to do with me. And how he played it like I be uh, messing with him <laughs> spiritually or whatever. I don't know where that conversation came from. But that's what he started out like. <laughs> you know that message, that energy that you be sending me, you can stop it. I was like, okay, okay, sir. Enjoy, enjoy your day. Y'all enjoy your day. Y'all keep still. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, that dream was so weird to me, y'all. But <laughs> I'm not the one sending the energy. I'm not the one playing in the astral world. I'm not the one playing in the 5D world. It's more so him. Because he always doing that. He always doing that. He know he do that. He admits to it. He always admits to it. You know what I'm saying? Even when I left the last time, the image, the face that he made to my, why you always doing it? While I'm always leaving. I'm always leaving because every time I turn around, you doing some fuck shit. You doing some shit that is, is, is so belittling to our whole connection, y'all. And then he, he expect me to sit around and eat what he dish me no baby i don't do that i'm not man hungry and um he ain't the only man and i really am not an ugly lady i don't know if he tried to make me look like that but i don't know i don't have problems getting a man i really don't but he had called me with that, that immature ass way so when i woke up this morning y'all hmm on my YouTube, um, I seen uh, um, Virgo the God. Um, she made a video. She was like, this person is going to try to call you with some bullshit. They coming up with a lie, y'all. She they, they coming up with a lie to make you mad. Now, when I heard that after that dream, y'all. So, the message is the message. See, somebody is going to be calling y'all, trying to start something to make you mad. Because they see that you're not paying them any type of attention. That's the problem. You're not running behind them. They want you to run behind them. But they got this little fake little Betsy Boo on their side that they think that's going to make you jealous when you see straight through the bullshit. You feel me? Okay. Whew. All right, speed. Y'all, that was a weird dream of mine. You know, that was a testimony. So, y'all, when y'all go through this shit, <laughs> remember, it's a deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship because you are always on their mind. Can y'all see that? Y'all remember these my little cards? I had to go redo them, but yeah. Always on my mind. Running. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Running. This person, uh, hey, y'all connection probably is always with this running, running in and out type of energy. And I feel like that's what it's going to. That's what it's headed. That's what it's been at, y'all. Oh, excuse me. But your person got a little feeling a certain type of way. They're going to try to do something to make you feel jealous. Is what I'm hearing. They want you to be jealous because they're still upset with you that you haven't ran behind them is what I'm getting, y'all. 922 is on the clock. Y'all look at that angel number. Little tricks. Bad news, intention, loud mouth, impatient. Yeah, impatient. They mad because you're not running behind them. Y'all, you know this going to be the runner anyway. The page of wounds. It's in reverse. Can you clarify always on my mind, spirit? <laughs> 
one more please Thank you, gratitude spirit high priestess <laughs> yo look um six of swords slow um healing unable to move forward unfinished business gratitude you always on my mind resistance hmm failure disenchantment embezzlement sorrow this person uh you're always on their mind period um divine feminine that's why you're always on their mind period gratitude spirit mm -hmm. divine feminine highly sexual and <laughs> that's the part too that they oh y'all let me tell y'all about that highly sexual energy y'all know y'all connected to y'all partner or whatever y'all can feel when they doing some things you know that extra stuff you know they having sex and things to that nature but it's like i felt that energy last night right before and then they said i felt his energy but i didn't feel him doing it towards me he was doing it towards his 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 little baby boo uh, <laughs> it was funny because I could feel him pulling my name, pulling my energy while he was in the midst of it. <laughs> and it wasn't feeling comfortable. I was like, hold on, spirit. I feel like I'm being spiritually right. Like, why is he pulling on my energy while he being intimate with his whatever he, you call it? <laughs> spirit, got it so. Uh, clarify, I'm running. Who <laughs> spiteful fear, um, savage, painful, agonized gratitude spirit. That's why y'all ain't separation. This person is spiteful, y'all. This person is so spiteful that they're gonna try to do and say anything to get you upset. Um, try to make sure that they they because they, <laughs> they they're not in their emotional stability right now. They want to run, they're running from all that. They're not getting their wishes fulfilled. They're in separation from all that, y'all. They are fearful that they won't be able to get their wishes fulfilled for whoever that we is what I'm hearing. Look, botched, failure, dud, catastrophe, shambles, flop, nonchalant. See, they're trying to act like they don't care, but they're not getting their wishes fulfilled. So this person is really going to um try to do anything to make you upset, um, try to get you bald, y'all. I feel like somebody from your past is going to come, whoever you was connected with, your soulmate, your twin, whatever this was that you was connected with, y'all. Your past life returning, the one that y'all had so much um connection with or whatever. Um, um, mm -hmm. They finna come and act like they the being an asshole trying to act like they don't have feelings for you or whatever you know personal setbacks moving on self-forgiving they want you to be feeling like they feel they want you to feel a little true gratitude spirit oh they want you to feel exactly how they feel you know what i'm saying <laughs> that way they gonna come here and try to start some shit stubborn obsessed with status well financially ill lack of planning fear of the unknown personal goals inner alignment one more call fear. Yeah, they want you to come in and feel exactly how you feel. Look, companionship. They got their little companion. They're going to try to show you their companion, y'all. Their friends with benefits. They prize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They they feel like <laughs> they try to look the, the little wedding ring up tonight. Oh, we're engaged now. I don't care. And that's how they're going to come try to step to you. I was like, Spirit, what's the point of that dream? Why are you showing me all that? Because you already told me spiritually a couple of days ago that this was going to happen if it ain't already happened. If they ain't already married or something to that nature. But it's like somebody going to come back to remind you. 13, 13, I'm o'clock. Yeah, about some empress that's in reverse, some codependent as relationship that they're in, codependent, false pregnancy, karmic, creative block, sour, bitter, emptiness, smooth, smothering ass relationship that they're in, that they thought they had and got a prize with y'all. Little manipulation, illusion, cunning, me um, mental clarity, trickery, uh, conniving, lack of clarity, actually, because they need that mental clarity, but they got lack of clarity. It's just all a lot of trickery, illusions, aimlessly drifting, trying again, in this decision sacrificing their dream emotional somebody's emotional about you that's why they come and trying to be fake keeping secrets self-deceit won't break free avoiding drama they trying to come in and put drama up on you look conf in a conflict because they bickering with themselves you know they know they they trying to avoid the things that they're going through they have no solution they are a no and they and it's i feel like spirit is blocking this person for trying to do anything or they spirit and came and warned you i don't know if you had some signs about this person's gonna try to come in and be manipulative and, and vicious or whatever they're gonna try to do try to be huh 
blame you for the reason why you, they are in that relationship because they really want to blame you the reason they in this cold hearted bitch overly emotional i told you they're emotional naive difficulty solving problem problematic ass energy that they and they want to put up a, a facade and, and, and pretend like they are getting this fake ass how many times fake came out here y'all hmm it don't matter. On this fake ass energy, the failure energy that they're in, they want to come and say, look, lack, needs to focus, fools, Aaron. They in that type of energy, overwhelmed, submerged. They thought they had the privileged lady or man, but it was a stumbling block, misfortune. But they want to come in and, 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 and parade that in your face like you don't know, building. <laughs> you know, you know, you already know. You already know what is in the true intentions of this person who trying to make you mad, y'all. 1515 was on my clock. Y'all look at the angel, now, but you already know what the true intentions of this this little bitty ass, immature ass minded person that's trying to come in and get you a little ride. I'm gonna come and rough at this to collect the feathers, make them a little mad trick. Bad and bad news, their intentions, their intentions are rough for your feathers, make you a little mad. Reevaluation, delayed time, and all unemotional, unbothered, un imposter. They're an imposter, but they want to come in. Rough your feelings make you feel a little certain type of way because they are in a bit of a pickle. They, you're heartless, unfair. They're in that, that type of energy. Unstable, y'all. Type of energy, y'all. They want you to feel like they are happy. Gratification, joy, glee, y'all. Accomplishment. They done accomplished something. Yo, spirit said that's a lie. The lie to take the test determined that was a lot negativity, procrastination, frustrated, poor time, and lack of foresight, gratitude, spirit. The world that they try to pretend like I got my accomplishment. Spirit said that was a lie. 16, 16 was just on the clock. Yeah, look, recovery, letting go, optimistic things are looking up. Secrets, it's a lot of secrets out here. Deep see the fear. This person really don't want you to go in a well. They really want to keep you there, but they they going about it the wrong way is what I'm hearing. They trying to get you upset because they are in that upset energy. This person I already know that they don't fucked up, and then they want you to feel like you don't fucked up for leaving them when they knew they don't fucked up for leaving you. They didn't got with somebody that was a, a, a imitation. I heard the karmic, 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 karmic is what I'm hearing. They didn't got with the karma, but they want you to feel bad about them being with the karma when all alone they only want to feel bad about being with karma, y'all. But they want they want to come and make you feel a certain type of way you know try to hold on to you trying to make you put a challenge because they unhappy misalignment is the little love in reverse hey hey but they want to pretend like they happy hey we already see we see it we see it, spirit I already showed y'all i'm quite sure spirit came and showed you everything that this person is gonna try to do you done got that feeling i got the feeling <laughs> baby baby hey suffering worry anxiety sleepless night overreact overwhelmed by guilt you delay time heals our wound y'all fear of the unknown lack of planning indecision holding back this person is really holding back because see they sabotage the whole relationship they being judgmental controlling they're trying to control your emotion because they don't have control over their own emotions is what i heard y'all table resonating always either we see this person is a little burnt out thinking they burnt out they burnt out because they try to keep trying to prove up a facade like they're happy but they are burnt out there's no completion there's no good fortune there's no good family there's no alignment there's no satisfaction it's a lot of facade there's a lot of deception it's a lot of lies it's a lot of secrets it's a lot of overindulging and a lot of shit it's a lot of karma going around too is what i heard and this person realizing that they're going through karma but they feel like they're not gonna go through karma alone they're gonna take you right along with them is what i heard they want you to go with them because they want you to be upset with them they want you to mirror them they want you to feel how they feel they want you to to just yo know, being this lack ass decrease ass energy they want you to miss your opportunity so they feel like if they come and um distract you from whatever that you're doing that that you'll be able to stop whatever you're doing and feel like them feeling stubborn stuck in your ways or something to that nature feeling not not make no money y'all i feel like this person see you doing damn good without them is what i'm hearing but they they knew they made the wrong choice and now they're looking at them still like dang and they really can't walk away from the relationship because they depending on that person whoever they with lack of um progress and plan to focus and only on the short-term goals to um talent talents too materialistic they they're miserable 
they depending on whoever they with. So they just can't up and leave and be free. Look, gratitude, spirit, relationship, imbalance, disharmony, breakup, separation, abandonment, communication, privacy. They can't up and leave and be free like you. I feel like you are being a free, you free within yourself and you are loving yourself. But this person is having a little problem doing this same thing. See, addiction, they are too connected to depending on whoever they somebody's got control over this person and i felt like that's why my twin looked the way he did crazy because at the end of the day somebody got control over it avoiding responsibility taking too much buckling on the pressure giving on this person hey like a puppet i see like somebody's like a puppet y'all they can't do nothing but lay that misfortune pain. The lowest point, defeat, crisis, backstab, surrender. A wild then pick themselves up, hit them rock bottom. They done hit rock bottom, but they, they trying to make it seem like they are in some type of prize celebration. So this is my benefit. And no, it's not. Impatient, imprudence, um, can't express self-learning disability. They got learning disability because they didn't know that stuff. They ran to something that they thought they were going to get some type of success out of, but they ran to something that somebody controlled them, gratitude, attraction. <laughs> loving union relationship engagement child somebody is um god damn it somebody is um con controlling this person is disabled compared to this relationship whoever they connected to that's uh being a puppet master <laughs> they try to get you upset because they got a puppet master but you ain't got no puppet master you free you are free a little you are wishing fulfilled a little you content with life you you satisfied you know you got your abundance coming in you are are really making things happen the best way that you can make things happen but you making it look good though i don't know i believe because you are connected with spirit you and spirit is really working some things out for yourself but this person is seeing you doing all this and they getting a little in their feelings and then they're trying to come and throw a little monkey wrench what i heard they're gonna throw something to try to knock you off your blood they want to stop you cart and baggage um can't move difficulty problem solving travel uh plans delay suffering worry anxiety sleepless nights see they want to come and interrupt you with their lie that lie <laughs> punishment the ego the indecision you know that delay that that denial that that lie that lie that lie y'all they trying to stop you with their lies but you know bill so you know if this person do come in with that 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 little that little lie that they got to say you trying to stop you trying to keep you from going because they know they still they ain't got no no way forward back or side side nothing they can't move because they are being controlled by somebody else you know that said they was the puppet they got a puppet master that's the only thing they want you to show yeah i got a better master than you know you don't Cause your master, at least your master, lets you be free. They teach you the rope. They teach you how to grow. They teach you how to be happy, and they, and, and spirit and showed you how to be happy. That's your master your spiritual self that you connected to but since this person is in some type of self learning disabilities they they don't know their spiritual self they don't connect to their higher self but they connect to their puppet master somebody that is just as lost as them but you know they got a better way of making it look hello gratitude overindulgence being small compliance greed dissatisfied materialism over generous poor lifestyle person. they just got a better way of making it look because they probably ain't spiritual either, y'all. Ha, <laughs> goodness, message about money, manifestation, ambitious you. They probably ain't, they, they, they ain't, they ain't, y'all. They ain't, y'all. Yeah. They're not, they're not like you. Mm -mm. The earth angel, they're not like you. So they're going to figure out, try to figure out, try to figure out a way that they can come in and try to tell you some things to stop you from growing something. They're going to, you know, make you upset. They want to make you cry, really. They want to make you sad. They really want, look, coughing. Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you, ending new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. They really want to come and make you upset. Yeah, because they're in that karmic relationship and they don't know how to get up out of it, y'all. They don't know how to get up out of it. Look, you go be you. Yeah. Meeting and conversing. Savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted. Friendship. You know. 
this people ain't this person ain't whoever this is collector that's on the other side of you that that is maybe your twin soulmate probably some falsehood because i'm looking at fair relationships and things in that nation they might be false but you probably hey, gave them that title to make them feel better but see you know it's just something that you need to stop doing is what spirits they stop giving them that title stop giving them that look hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working only stop giving them that don't give them don't give them that title no more they don't deserve is what i heard because they don't deserve a karmic relationship don't connect nobody else with you that does not deserve to connect i think you need to disconnect from this person anyways because it's blocking your new blessing that's coming in your new love or whatever i feel like somebody's coming in that's new <laughs> wedding rings gratitude union wedding marriage soul connection i told y'all let me get up out of the energy gratitude because the longest you hold on to this energy the longest it, it gonna block you know what you got you gambling you gambling Spirit got something better to bring to you, y'all. And I picked that energy up the other day. You know, something that's like you. Coffee cup. <laughs> that nice cup of coffee. Coffee in the morning. Hey, hey. Yo, yo, Spirit trying to bring you that. But as long as you keep holding on to this person, it, it, it's like it's going to block it off. And it's time to release it is what I just heard. Release that energy. <laughs> Phoenix, new phase. Rekindle, the renew transformation. Transformation change your mind. Don't hold on to this person no more. Because right now, while they in that energy that they're in, they're karmic. Karmic meaning they're going to teach you a lesson. They're going to teach you why you ain't got the person that you need because you're holding on to their karmic ass. They think that a perpetrator, imposter, that imposter, they sit up here pretending like there's something that they're not. And they know they don't have control over their life. They really don't. They really don't. They really want to sit and talk to you and ask you, how can, how can I be happy like you? How can I take control of my life like you how can i get these things streams off my head and get my puppet master away from me gratitude karmic relationship let me get up out of here. let me go 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 spirit let me go let me go i can't get up out of a quick little spirit let me go get up out of for energy but yeah the message is missing that's what this person look are they really in love with you <laughs> ah, look yeah, unconditional love, self love, one is passion, affection, attraction. But see, they they girl, it's like empath and narcissist paranoid, being charmed or used, and able bound. I told y'all they puppet mouse. Y'all let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, spirit. You ain't telling me this all. This is gonna happen every time you got me yes, getting up in these cars. I'll be, I always be something, spirit. I always something. Spirit said you asked for it. Y'all asked for it. Ha! <laughs> Your spirit got it too. I appreciate you. But yeah, the message is the message. I hope I delivered it well. But yo, somebody gonna try to tickle your fancy. They're gonna try to get your little feathers ruffled. They're gonna try you. They're gonna try to make you upset. They're gonna try to make you feel like crap. They're gonna try to get up under your skin because that's how they're feeling. And at the end of the day, this person knows that you're always on their mind, regardless of the time they present, what they're doing. And they can be having sex with their person, but they you are always on their mind. And that's the part that's really getting on your person's uh they getting on their nerve because they, they know they land beside somebody, but yet they still thinking about you. Yet they still fantasizing about you. Yet they still contemplating on the connection that you guys have. Yet they still are beside the puppet master. But their divine counterpart, their divine feminine, their divine masculine is away from them. Enjoying life, being free. And that's something they supposed to be doing, but they're not. <laughs> Let me go, y'all. Y'all enjoy your day and don't have no other way. You guys, if y'all want to book a personal reading, y'all know what to do. My information is down there in the description box. You, if you want to utilize the donations corner, who praying to y'all? Because I came out here two times. Side chick, no mind. I ain't no mind. I see who praying to y'all. It ain't none of my business. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, damn, that's, that's even worse. <laughs> Oh, that's even worse, baby. They got connected. I'm talking about some years connected to somebody. <laughs> oh, they don't 
Lord, Lord have mercy. Let me get up out of these little energy. Yeah, but if y'all were the person reading, y'all book me. Look, twin flying. Let me get up out of it. Y'all book me, y'all. Y'all book me. Personal reading is better if y'all got some questions. You know, y'all need some clarity. Because right the donations corner, I'm just talking, y'all. Y'all, we ain't going to be on no call together. <laughs> donations corner is what it is. A donation. But yeah. Enjoy your day. No happen no other way, you guys. I love you. Peace.